All right. So for some time, I've been thinking how to use these LLMs and some agentic workflow to help me stay up to date with news around topics that I'm interested in. I'm interested in things like RAG systems, AI agents, LLMs, reasoning LLMs, and so forth. Now, I use cloud a lot for things like writing, but if you use cloud.ai online, it doesn't have access to a web browser, none of those tools. ChatGPT does offer that, but I use cloud a lot for writing. And what I've been interested in doing is creating a tool that I can leverage to help me stay up to date with all the news that happens today. There's so much happening, especially for AI agents. There's a lot of things, right? There's a lot of tools, there's a lot of research. It's really hard to stay up to date with things. And when I use these search tools, most of these tools are very bad. So I would like to create something that is more personalized to what I want to look for, the information that I want. And so what I did was I actually use a bunch of MCP servers. So you can see that I have set them up here. And there's a bunch of tools that come available with that. So the servers I have set up here are GitHub. So some integration with GitHub. I also have Brave Web Search, which we will use as our main web search tool. So what I want to do here. So the first thing I want to do, you can see here in my prompt, I started cloud. This is cloud desktop. And I just started a simple prompt, search for the top 20 latest AI agent news, make sure to include links to sources, use the following format. So these are the formats. And because cloud is now connected to these servers, it has access to all of these tools and the MCP servers have all the definitions for capabilities and so on. Cloud can now interact with those tools. And so now it can interact with Brave Web Search, for example. So you can see here, that it did a query. So it sent a query to the Brave Search API. All of that has been configured. And so I get some news here. Now, whether these are the latest news remains to be verified because again, when you use these web search tools, there's many ways how you can prompt them, right? And so maybe this will need to be improved, but that's not the point of the video here. I just wanted to do a quick demo of how awesome it is to build with cloud along with these MCP servers. All right, so that integration, is done. You can see here that we got a summary and we got it in the format that we want. We want the source. We can actually click on the links. We got a bunch of news here that might be interesting. So for instance, this one, I think is interesting. This one as well, dev agents raised some money and so on. So I can definitely improve this list, but anyways, so this is the first try of me doing this. I followed up with a prompt and I told it, now create a new repo AI agents to add these news articles as Markdown. So what is this about? Basically what I did was I hooked up another MCP server to my cloud desktop here. And so now I can use all of these tools available from this MCP server. So now it can create repositories, it can push files and so on. So you see where I'm going with this. Essentially what I'm doing is now I have an easy way to just like prompt cloud, collect news that I want, refine them if I have to refine them, and then just dump those news into maybe a Markdown file in a GitHub repo. And then now I can share this as well, right? So it's not just useful for me, but it's useful for my community as well. And this whole thing was automated, right? I just needed to ask it like this. Now, I could literally go and automate this whole process as well. I'm sure I could figure out a way how to set up a tool to do some automation, but I still want to be able to curate the news and so on. I do newsletters and so on. So I, I think that's useful for me. So I'm not interested to do that now, but that's something that could be done, I think, very easily with this concept of MCP servers. All right, so what does this do? What's the outcome of all of this? Well, as I said, I was interested in connecting in GitHub MCP server and pushing all of the news, all of these ones into that MCP server. So now I can update that and I can share that with the community and so on. Well, I will still need to do creation, but that wasn't the point of this first demo. Uh, this is the first time I'm trying this. I could definitely add more things to this. And it did that for me. I didn't have to go and create a repository. I didn't have to do that manually. It just created it for me. I just had to prompt it like this. So what is the result of that? This is the result of what I just did. Because it has access to GitHub and I had to set up that, I had to set up a personal token and all of that. But once I have that MCP server set up, it can create repositories on its own. So it actually created this one. So that agent that I just set up created this one and created this repository called AI agents. 
and then it summarized the news and this is how it summarized it. No, I didn't see how it actually summarized it in cloud, but I can see the output here. And you can see that the links are actually working too. Take a look at the links. Yeah, it takes me right to the news here. Uh, this one is October 21st. Again, the challenge with using the tools like Brave Web Search and so on is that you still need to do a bit more fine tuning on the search itself, right? Like the search is not perfect, but the workflow works and that's a good first step. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. I can now do a lot of this now, keep track of news, you know, write notes. I, I can implement a lot of different things with so this. This was just a first initial idea because I actually had to go and set up the MCV servers, I had to set up that stuff. And it took a bit of time because there were some issues and this stuff is just getting started. Really exciting stuff. Now, let me know if you would like to see me break down all the steps on how you might be able to do this. If this is interesting for you, let me know in the comments. And what I will do is I'm actually working on some more advanced use cases as well. I'm sure I can put together something where I go through all the details, the issues that I found, how to fix them and so on. But I'm excited about this. I think Antrophic has done a great job with the MCP stuff. And I think for building things like this, it makes sense for us to be able to integrate you know, not only cloud, but other tools as well, like our IDEs and these other tools that we use on a daily basis to do this kind of automation. You know, this is useful for me and I'm sure it's useful for a lot of people. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to break this down. I'll see you all in the next one.